are everybody and welcome back to another episode of the pixel pirate today we are actually going to fix a few wrongs um it is becoming nighttime but that's all right um what we want to do is actually we did the windmill correctly but it can be improved if you guys didn't see codemaster went ahead and left us a, a little comment down below in the last episode and uh, i think we're going to be able to improve this windmill quite a bit now we're going to leave the actual build of the windmill exactly the same but uh th there are a few a few differences apparently we need to make so let's go ahead and first of all open this back up and pick up these billows because apparently uh i was wrong when i said these are the this is the front of the billows uh, as you can see this right here is the front of the billows and these this is the side and this is the back so this is what is receiving power so let's go ahead and and break this and uh and lay these guys back down really quick uh in the way that they're supposed to be set down i believe this is correct now uh let's just make sure that there's nothing in here before we go ahead and break them and make sure it's pointing in the right direction there and now it is now this is pumping cool air into the system so when i went and showed you guys last time exactly how they worked uh we did not see a speed difference i thought there was a speed difference but uh i i, I apparently that was the placebo effect and there was no it was no difference so hopefully now they will be sped up now i was explained uh that let's go ahead and take out some gears uh, i was explained that this gives us obviously our 3.5 torque our 4.5 torque i apologize uh, and then when we get down here this is supposed to be uh given this one right here is supposed to be given or let me let me go ahead and figure this out wait this is supposed to be 2.5 torque correct so let's go ahead and check that so like i said that's 4.5 it's giving out 4.5 so then uh because we only have uh, gears here going north and south and then the up gear uh should be receiving torque now these should still work apparently according to code even if we pull that gear out uh yes they do still work so you don't need receiving gears um and remember this is receiving power from the south so we don't need that let's go ahead and check and make sure that that is still running and yes it is okay so we're, we're going to take out all the receiving gears um like i said they're, they're not needed um and then this one does not need one Oh, actually, it doesn't even have one. Oh, yeah, I just took that out. Duh. Okay, um, and then let's go ahead and check up or check downstairs first, I guess we could do. Uh, let's check in here. So it's receiving power from the north. So we can take out that north gear. We're, we're saving a little bit of uh, resources here, and, and we get some power down. Now, what we need to do is actually our spinning wheel no longer works, or our, and including our rat wheel. This is because we're supposed to have a gearbox in between these two now. So let's go ahead. Well, we'll go ahead and obviously craft a, gear, a gearbox here in a second. Um, but first, I'd like to talk a little bit more about this. So as you saw, we're, we're, we're producing 4.5 torque, which is translated perfectly down to this pipe. Now, the billows each only need uh, one torque apiece, one or more. So uh, we have four. Like I said, we have 4.5 torque coming right down here. So we're going to want to split that, right? And right now it's 50-50. So 2.25 uh, torque is coming to these guys, which then splits again, obviously, uh, to this. This sends uh, the 1.75 uh, torque into this one and this one sends 1.175 torque into that one now we can we can make this a little bit more efficient by pulling out this uh, coming in here and now it works with fractions so we want more power headed to the south correct because it's at it's sending two point five or two point two five torque I apologize so and we only want it to send uh, two so 4.5 divided by 9 is 0.5 right so nine pieces then we can work with 0.5s now because we only want two torque to the north we will put a total of four pieces in the north slot and five pieces in the south slot now what does this do this adds remember that 0 0.5 0 0.5 times 4 is 2 torque right and then 0 0.5 times 5 is 2.5 torque so now these are split evenly so now these machines should still be running we'll go ahead and check see and now that that is running it sends uh it sends one torque east which is over to our cooling rack or this bellow into that cooling rack and then it sends one 
torque east into our smeltery or into the bellow into the smeltery so that's how we will efficiently use the bellows um, because they only need one torque to power them if less than one torque is powering them they won't go at all um, so we still know that, that they're still receiving the one at least uh, because of, uh, of we see their animation working now what we're going to want to do now with the 2.5, the extra 2.5 torque, I should say, uh, we're going to go ahead and close this area, but we're going to need to open up this area here. Let's go ahead and break this now. Remember, Chester, uh, he runs the wheel, uh, kind of. It's not the fastest, let's be honest. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're actually going to break this first, and then we're going to create ourselves a couple more gearboxes. Uh, we're going to put one right here. Uh, and then we're gonna put the other one um, Yeah, we're gonna no, sorry. We, we don't need to put another one anywhere We need to put one right here, and we also need to make some more torque shafts So if you guys give me a minute, uh, I'll be right back once we are all set up Actually now that I think about it We don't need any more torque shafts because there needs to be a gearbox here a torque shaft here And then a gearbox here, and we already have that torque shaft because we just used it Oh ooh, ooh, no, 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 and as you can see I didn't get a chance to um to fix my mistake from last time so we, we still I still need to do that I apologize um, but yeah so so I'm gonna go ahead and, and create that that the two gearboxes and uh, and then we'll, we'll get going all right and there we go we have our two gearboxes now let me go ahead and uh, first of all we can break this and we will drop uh, this gearbox here right and then we will uh, we'll pick this up now now this is gonna run water real quick it's all right. It's all right. It's not going to ruin anything else, I guess. Ooh, but we may fall down. Okay, I need to press shift and then right click. There we go. Okay, and then finally, we're going to drop a gearbox here. Now, remember what I said? We don't need the receiving ends anymore, but spinning wheel will take up to three torque. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take out our gears again, and we're going to right click the uh, the rat wheel. Uh, it says it torques. It generates 1.0 torques. Now, if you remember, we are currently sending 2.5 torque through this line so if if we do this correctly we should only need two more torque into this so once again we are going to go ahead and split it off now remember what i said each gear will represent 0.5 in this situation so because we're running 2.5 uh to to this box right here we're going to want to send it to this way we actually don't have enough gears um now that I, now that i look at it we need five gears in total so why don't we go ahead and make a few more and i'll be back with you guys once i have them all set up so i went ahead and started making some more gears because we needed some if you didn't know uh, and i wanted to just show you guys the speed of these tools now now they're working much faster and i think much more efficiency is how efficiently is how it works uh, i don't know if you remember but it used to drop this uh the steam meter very very quickly and now it's cooling things very quickly and uh and if I go ahead and drop another iron bar in here for you, uh, you can see that one piece of coal I think did eight in total, or, or I think it's supposed to, but maybe it went a little bit faster. Uh, but there is a clear, there was a clear difference this time. That is what I'm trying to say uh, between what what happened last time and what happened this time. Now let's go ahead and make ourselves uh, a few more gears. Like I said, we don't need a ton, but that should work. Ooh, creepy noise. Okay, let, let me go ahead and hit the hay because it is nighttime, and then I will get us all set back up here. All right, it is daytime once again, and remember, we are still working on getting our windmill all, all set up here. Uh, so basically, what the problem is, is that we are currently sending 2.5 torque uh, through this line, and, and obviously it's not going anywhere because we, we haven't told this gearbox, um, but we're only going to send 0.5 uh, down this line right here, so that is to the south. So what we're going to do is, uh, like I said, 2.5 divided by 5 is 0.5. So we're only going to use 5 gears right and now we want to send 2.0 torque to the east correct yes to the east so we're going to want to send 2.0 so like i said uh there's five if we divide that by five so we're going to want to put four into there because four times 0. 0.5 is 2.0 i know this is a lot of math you guys but once we get it up and running it's going to be spectacular it's going to make our house much more efficient and our windmill much much more efficient and it's very cool mod and i i, I honestly think that if we give it its time it'll it, it it will be a great success. So like I said, we have two torque now going eastwards, hopefully right into our uh, yarn, or our, I believe our rope maker. And then we're gonna wanna send 0.5 to the south. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now we have 0.5, or we should be collecting 2.0, 
power or torque into this uh, into this machine. Now remember, we're gonna still want to send it east, uh, and we're just gonna put one in there so it doesn't divide it at all. Now this guy should be getting tons of power. Let's go ahead and uh, actually get some get ourselves some string. Hopefully we have some on on spare here. Oof, it doesn't look like we do. I'll go ahead and harvest the flax, you guys. Give me a second. So I went ahead and grabbed ourselves uh, some some of those extra extra string, and I fixed our problem. If you can't tell uh, where where we had the water running. Now let's go ahead and run uh, our spinning wheel, or see see how fast it runs. Remember that our our rat here, uh, Skeevy, is is not really doing anything. Um, so let's go ahead and just push him off of this wheel, just so you know that this is no longer giving out any power. In fact, we could probably pick it up, um, and we'll replace it this with this block. And let's go ahead and see how fast the spinning wheel works now. Uh, remember, it was pretty slow with Skeevy, but holy crap! Look how fast that is going now, and uh, and so that's that should actually you know what I'm supposed to leave Skeevy there. That was part of the plan. Uh, it's okay though. We'll, we'll we'll move him back and everything. But now that's that's receiving 2.0 torque. Uh, if you do, if you don't understand, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go ahead and remove this gear here for a second. So hopefully yes, uh, it should stop receiving power here in a second. Oh, you know what? I was waiting for it to stop receiving power and we were standing on top of it, which allows the machine to work by the player touching it. I apologize. So yes, yeah, so now it is it is completely powered down. We're going to go ahead and make ourselves one more gearbox here, uh, which is simply done with iron in the corners. Actually, you know what? Before we... Oh, no, I don't need it. Sweet. I have wood on me. Uh, we're going to need acacia wood down in the bottom corners. We need our gears in a... Uh, formation like this we're gonna need one piece of rope in the middle if you guys don't remember and then one on the top right there nice gearbox okay so now we're gonna take this gearbox uh, and skeevy actually is really good in really good positioning there I'm kind of glad I pushed him now uh, and then we're gonna all we're gonna do is we're gonna boom right and we're gonna go ahead and set a gearbox here and our rat wheel right here uh, just one over and there we go now we should be able to right click on it with a gear and it will tell us zero, correct? Yes. And then if we push skeevy on it, what what happens? Oh, I accidentally gave ourselves uh, some food here. No big deal. Let's go ahead and push skeevy back on. Skeevy, uh, you got it, buddy? There we go. And now it's 1.0 torque. Let's go ahead and give him his paper back. Um, oop. And then we'll just just walk on past you here skeevy excuse excuse me excuse me sir excuse me thank you and uh and so now we're just going to want to send uh that one torque to the north uh so we just need one gear here now this should be receiving one torque once again uh so it's working pretty slow now let's go ahead and drop that other gear back in here remember this is the one that's pushing it east and now we'll look at it holy crap look how fast this thing works now you see what i mean and th that's what i meant by by adding making this torque work more efficiently we're going to have a much smoother smoother working uh setup here so let's go ahead and take this string out just because we don't need a ton of rope at this moment um, we'll block off our wall now finally the last thing is our uh, our elevator our elevator remember was giving us a ton of trouble yesterday or last episode i apologize and uh and there were there were a few fixes that code code uh decided to share with me uh we're gonna go ahead and make ourselves a trap door because apparently if we put a trap door over the top we don't have to worry about where we fall and things like that so let's go ahead and open that and fall down uh and then we're gonna right click the the elevator and it should work pretty slow right now just because we have only 0.5 torque leading into it so let's go ahead and click this see and you see how, how slowly the elevator works it it gets us to the top but but not very quickly uh, we'll do it one more time You see, and then it pushes us past that, and then we can just land on the trapdoor, which is very nice to have now. Um, but like I said, we're, we're going to want to add more power to this. So how can we do that? Uh, it's between uh, Skeevy and making another windmill. So I've decided that we're going to go with an actually uh, another windmill in the back here for now. Um, we have all this power set up. So we're just uh, actually... You know what? I've changed my mind. I had this decided earlier, but I, I decided I, I decided to change my mind. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and, and go get some more uh, rats, and we are going to set them up, uh, hopefully just next to this area, and we'll we'll kind of we'll kind of leave them there. They won't have a nice pen like Skeevy, but hopefully we can we can drive a little bit more power into our our elevator uh, using them. So let me go ahead and go out and find some rats for us, and then uh, I will be back once once I've done so. 
Okay, so I haven't come across any rats yet. But I also decided that we haven't opened up a lucky block in quite a while. Uh, what do you say we go for it? This is risky. We are carrying some, some pretty good stuff here. So we're going to open it and we're going to run like little, little babies. Hello? Hey, flowers! Cool! So we have a ton of new dyes, apparently, so we can we can decorate our pirate ship if that's what we want to do, I guess. Now that I think about it, that sounds kind of kind of goofy. Um, actually, we'll keep the we'll keep the iron helmet. I don't I don't think really it's important what colors we have, especially those ones. Those are those are not pirate colors. Okay, so I haven't found uh, any any mice yet or rats yet, but like I said, when I do, I will uh, I'll be back with you guys. Oh, right, everybody, and we are back. I am just clearing out my inventory here a little bit. I went ahead and did find uh, ourselves some rats, uh, and I caught them. I caught them really quick, actually. Uh, remember that whole ordeal we had with Skeevy? Uh, these guys were pretty easy to catch once I got them, I'm not going to lie. But uh, but there, there we go. So so we have our two, our two subjects. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and create these rat wheels. If you guys don't remember how, I'll go ahead and show it real quick with us. Uh, and then and then we will uh, we'll move on to the next step. All right, and there we go. We are all set now, you guys. Uh, sorry about that. I went ahead and created ourselves a few more gear boxes as well because I knew we were going to go ahead and need them. Uh, so, th so that's why uh, you, you see those in my inventory right now. Let's go ahead and power this now. Remember, we are trying to only send uh, send power down here uh, to, to, to the elevator. Now, elevators are a little bit more interesting. Uh, they do not have a power cap. So like I said, uh, this, oh, what are you, Skeever, Skeevy, you, you, what are you doing, buddy? Did you get pushed off the power wheel again? Don't, don't fall in the water here, please, pal. Okay. Um, so basically, so we, we remember that the spinning wheel here has a maximum of three torque. These bellows behind these machines have a maximum of one torque. Any extra torque is not really going to be used. But the interesting th thing about elevators actually is that they don't have a maximum torque. So if, if you can believe that, I know I know that sounds a little bit odd, but it is the truth. Uh, they, they, they don't have a maximum torque. Now, like I said, we're going to go ahead and lay down these rat wheels and get these two rats over here. We'll do one at a time, I think. All right, but we'll move them both uh, in unison first, just to get them both hopefully a little bit closer over here. Hello, my friends. Um, there we go. Yes. No, where are you going? Uh, that was... Where, where'd he go? No, come back. We, we need... Is he, did he run free? Is he free as the wind blows? Oh no! Well, looks like we're gonna have to have to work with the one for now, and then hopefully uh, here in a minute we can catch that other one really quick. Uh, ooh, that is a cool animation! I did not know that they changed that. I think I just heard that that rat take damage. Anyway, look at that! That is so cool! Look at the spinning wheel! Oh, that is so so awesome! Uh, the reason why I took this off is so that I can just simply hopefully push this guy on up here uh he is in the the rest mode or stay in the same place mode so that's good and then we'll go ahead and pick this up and now you can see that's generating power so now we just need to do the same thing for this side if we can find that that other other rat rat where, where did you go oh there you are hi you're not supposed to do that dude come on come on he, he should follow us just like a just like a, any other animal that, that is tamed there you go come on buddy he, he got a little lost that's all come on there we go. Okay, now, don't jump off the side of the building this time, please. You, you, you made us all look bad back there. Okay, so let's go ahead and push him up the stairs as well. Um, there we go. Come on, a little bit more, and he's on it. Nice. Now, let's go ahead and break the stairs. We'll put the stairs back, and you can see that one is running as well now. Um, and we'll go ahead and close Skeevy's, uh, uh, Stevie, Skeevy's thing. Okay, now like I was saying, uh, elevators don't have a maximum torque, so we're going to push all of this, it will say one torque, um, but because remember we're running two systems, um, we are going to going to um, basically send it here. Actually, you know what, I realized that we, we're using one too many uh, gearboxes here, um, because if we remove this one, now the torque will be pushed into this one torque is pushed into here, right? And now we're going to want to push that torque to the north. 
uh, into this box. So now this box is currently holding two torque. We will put uh, one in the west direction so that hopefully it pushes two torque now into this box, correct? And then this box will push out um, the two torque hopefully into this gearbox. Uh, so we'll do that to the north. And there we go. That should that should be powering this only down uh, to to the elevator. Now remember how slow the elevator was last time. We're gonna go ahead and give this a little practice run here. Let me go ahead and cover these up and uh, make sure these guys stay where they're supposed to stay. Uh, let's go ahead and, and go down really quick, uh, and we, we will test it by right clicking on it. There we go. You see how much faster that was compared to the uh, the slow elevator lift. Let's do it one more time. Uh, remember this is. Three, uh, this is 2.5 torque coming into this elevator. I think I might have said three at one point, but we have two coming from these guys and then 0.5 coming from that windmill. Uh, very, very awesome, you guys. Uh, so now we have made our house much more efficient uh, with our spinning wheel running with the maximum of three torque, our bellows running with their minimum required with one torque, and our, uh, our two new rats powering this guy. Uh, if there's anything else added to the mod that we need to power, of course we will do so by uh, by hopefully creating another windmill because I think that's the best power option. Uh, we'll put the next one maybe up a little bit higher and maybe actually build a, uh, a an actual windmill, like a, a tower for it. Uh, I think that would be a lot of fun. But I'm going to leave you guys there. I'm sorry if this, this episode comes up a little bit short. There was a lot of crafting and a lot of downtime that I'm going to do my best to cut out for you guys. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, remember to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button. And I hope you all have a great day, honestly. Uh, if you don't know, I do live stream over on Twitch every once in a while. So if, uh, if you're on there, uh, I am on Twitch under the same exact screen name. Uh, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.